Hey guys, happy Sunday. I'm the Pole Father, and today in this video, we're going to be discussing old CGC slabs. Basically, from the original first slabs and to when they changed it, but still old with the tough grading. Basically, off center grades. Okay, so here's just an example of cards. Look. I really did a lot of thought into this and I looked at some old uh, CGC slabs that I had in my collection and I said to myself, you know, I did my experiment. CGC is definitely grading easier. Um, but again, I mean, are they grading, you know, a lot easier? No, but they're definitely more lenient. Anyone that's been um, so many cards CGC definitely knows right now. So with that being said, you know, I have right here a stack of basic cards. I can't tell you guys how many basic cards I submitted to CGC, and I swear it was, it's been a tough battle. So I just want to show you guys some, and just you know, a part of me, a part of me wants to send these to PSA because I, I really think a lot of these have a chance of a ten. Here's the problem: those PSA is being absolutely brutal. It's almost like they're they're going back to grading hard, grading hard, grading hard, grading hard. In my eyes, I do like PSA a lot, but the problem with that is. You know, there was such a large time span of them grading easier and more lenient. So there's such a wide year gap of, oh, these are the easier tens versus the solid tens. Yes and no on that comment. Yes, a lot of tens were getting away with it. And if you're saying I'm lying or that's not true, then you know what you're talking about. Some cards that were submitted are definitely hard tens. So look, here I have here. I'll just give you, show you guys here. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. Here, let me go to a... All right, so look, let's start here. So check out this Alakazam, guys. Okay, 9999, old CGC slab. Okay, flip it over. Look. And that's on the, the slab itself. See, look. Look, you're, I mean, this is a minty, crispy card. To only just get 99 on subgrades, a little. It's tough. So basically, and I'll go through all these one by one, but basically, my plan is this, and I really, really, really get discouraged doing this because it's just not fun doing this. A part of me wants to recrack all these slabs, recrack them, resubmit them to CGC with no subgrades to see what they can get. I submitted a Gengar, and I'll even show you guys here in a second. I submitted a Gengar, it got a perfect 10, no subgrades. I submitted my Dragonite, it got the, I'm sorry, I said that backwards. The Dragonite got the perfect 10, and the Gengar got the pristine 10. So, I mean, I mean, you guys can see for yourself. There's nothing. Look at this. You know, to justify a nine, you know, it's, and there's plastic on this too. So if you see some, you know, lines, no hesitation there. But look, I mean, you guys can tell there's, this, it's, they're flawless. This one, and you guys all agree. I mean, look, all nines on the subgrade is, you know, I would think today's is easy, but. You look at these right now, and oh, what's that right here? Edge. Let's get that close there. Nope. Look. When you guys see the back too, you're all gonna go, holy smokes. I pulled this Charizard, and when I got when I you know back then I was like, oh cool for subgrades and stuff, you know, nine nine nine. I was like, man, like that's tough. But as you can tell, it's an older slide because it's off center here. You know, I definitely think this gets at least a 9.5. Definitely not. I mean, who knows a 10, right? But, you know, I kind of want to resubmit these and, you know, to get a higher grade. At the end of the day, you know, there's really no... Like, here's the old... Look at this Magneton. And this is with the old slabs too, right? I mean, there's no... And I remember I pulled this. No scratches in the hall foil. No nothing. I'll show you guys the back too. Basically, the battle is this between... You know, PSA. I would prefer these in a PSA slab. However, I really do like CGC. Um, now I'm hearing PSA. I've talked to a lot of people in the hobby, and everyone's saying PSA is being brutal. PSA is being brutal. PSA is being brutal. Is it more desirable? In on paper, yes, but for me, it's not. Um, I have cards here that I pulled. Um, heavy base set packs, heavy fossil packs. I uh, for my birthday. I have not posted that video yet, but I will shortly. Basing on what I pulled, I will be submitting some cards there. Thank you, uh, Old School Pokemon. Thank you, Catch Them All Collectibles, for the outstanding pulls. Some will be submitted, some won't. 
um, just because, you know, it's a true roll of dice. But back to this, you know, some of these cards I do want to submit, or I'm sorry, resubmit with no subgrades to just see how much more of an upgrade they would get. I have, I have, um, I've seen a lot of people now getting tens, getting nine fives on basic cards. I mean, see, look, here's another one. And I pulled this card too. I know it's a Noodle King, but like I said, I mean, subgrades makes it make it tougher. The Simon Chain I pulled as well. You know, the old subgrade or the old slabs. I mean, look. To my 10 subscribers, I need some advice. Do I really shoot for the stars and head for C for head for PSA? Because right now they're getting very difficult. I feel like if I were to do that, it almost would be comparable to cracking these out and sending them back to CGC with subgrades. To me, it doesn't make sense to do that. Um, this chancy as well, you know, crispy, clear. I mean, look, speaks for herself. CGC graded very tough, as you guys can tell. I'm going to be in store here. Now, I do have some other base set cards. Um, uh, I, I cracked them out. But they were, you know, basically this. My goal is to basically get every basic card, every hollow, at least minimum nine subgrade. At least not nine. And, you know, time went on. CC so started getting a little easier with no subgrades. So I do have cards that I pulled out of the slab that basically got, you know, nine centering, um, 8.5 surface, and then nine edges, nine corners. And I was just like, man, man, like how, how? So some of those I would resubmit because I mean I just I don't see the error on them. But um here's just a small fraction of these and look, this is what we'll do. Let's grab you know for fun, let's just grab here. One sec guys. I really want to compare a CGC ten to one of these to these one of these old subs. Just to kind of get an idea. A lot of times, you know, it's a lot, it's all you know, discretion on who's grading and everything. So, look, okay, so look, pristine 10 Gengar. Now, I know when I pulled this, it was minty crisp. Look, okay, so let's just take, for example, let's do an exciting one. Let's, let's take the Blastoise, take this one, for example, okay, okay, clean haul, well, you guys can tell. Off well in this one. Bear lighting there, a little glare. So the hall foil is very clean. Okay. Centering. Looks great. Let's really strip this card down. I don't see anything. Okay. No. Comparing the two. I don't see it. Okay. We're using this as our scale, right? I'll jump to the Charizard. Okay. Again, scale. So let's see here. Not see anything. Nope. Nothing. So I do find cheers guys, a little espresso. I do find that there is and whether it be PSA, whether it be CGC. A lot of times people will just do a massive submission saying, okay, I'm going to get my eights. I'm going to get my nines. I'm going to get my tens. You know, there's a strategy to it. However, I also think there's a strategy to submitting to these grand card companies. And I'm really trying to kind of tinker with it. It's kind of like an if and then scenario here. 
I basically think if you submit, and I want to show you guys on one of our other submissions, I got a nine Moltres, which I think was a little, a little harsh. I think it should have gotten at least a nine five, but there's almost a type where if you grade X amount of cards that there's the discretion of, well, I may have gave this one the, I was more lean on the Charizard. So I'm going to go a little harder on this one, like a give and take. I really do think there's some type of strategy of how many you should submit and what you should submit at the same time. Should you have two of the same cards? I think you can also leverage saying, Hey, look, you know, I was, this one's in worse condition than this one. So this one's going to get the better grade and this one's going to be fall right behind it. Meanwhile, for all you know, for all the grader knows that person could have cracked this, the card out of the slab and resubmit it and use that other duplicate to help bump the other one up. There's definitely a huge strategy to this and I'm really trying to take my time with this, but you know, something, all these CGC nines that I have here with subgrades there, I mean, look, We'll do the Alkazam next. Get you know a better, even a better compar comparison of both psychic types. So let's get a little. See this one I do. No, nope, this see it's on this. See me not on the card. What's this right? Nope, again, it's on the plastic wrapper here. Maybe the tiniest white speck here. The tiniest. I've seen a lot way worse. Gotta get a little back up here. No. Nope. So the plastic wrapper. So look, um, I'm not sure how long. It's maybe some of you guys have submitted CGC, but I do know I've been submitting with them since they started cards. I have cracked old CGC slabs out, resubmit them, and gotten a higher grade. There is definitely a strategy to it. They are grading easier. I wouldn't like sing and dance, but if CGC is grading a little easier, PSA is grading harder, we're starting to meet in the middle here. And frankly, I'd rather be on CGC side on, I started grading off hard in the beginning and now I'm getting a little more lenient where PSA went through the period of when CGC was out, they were grading easier. Now they're getting more hard. So that means there's a hunk of tens and nines out there that are not in the best condition. And a lot of, and a lot of you guys know that that have been great with PSA and CGC, or I'm sorry, more PSA that some cards that were nine that aren't a true nine, you probably sold them. I don't blame you. At the end of the day, it really calls, and this is from just an unbiased opinion. I grade CGC. I like the slab. I've said it multiple times. I pre, I, it's all preference. It's your collection. But at the end of the day, I can't stress this enough. You have to buy the card. Multiple times I've bought a card. And it's been in whether Beckett slab, PSA, buy the card. Do not worry about this grade. Do not worry about it. Well, obviously, you know, you want to buy your tens, you know, your higher grades, but there's so many times, multiple times where you can get away buying a card, resubmitting it, and it gets the higher grade. It's all in discretion of the grader. Good. Everyone has good days. And lately people have been having bad days, as you know. So you catch one on the right day, right time. It can all work for the best. So I will be doing another large submission here shortly. I just need to make sure exactly and see what I want to do here. And I really like doing these experiments because it's fun. But anyways, I think that's all I got really. But I do have a couple more cards. I do really want to try resubmitting. And I, I don't really know if I want to get too much of it today. But just like another one for example here is this card. As the shiny tyrants are here, nine centering, 8.5 surface, um, 9.5 corners, nine edges. And I believe the wear on this card is right around here. The focus here. 
I ran the yellow. I know there's a scratch. But anyways, look. So in theory, if this card got it at nine, and if I were to crack, it comes back a nine five, I win. So back is 100% clean. Oh. We got Florida afternoon rain. Just take another extra look here. So, is there value to having old CGC slabs? Yes. Is it worth really keeping in the slab? I don't think so because, look, if you have an old created CGC card, you can argue that, let's just say, for example, you're the one out of a million that got a 10 and it's in the old CGC slab. Is it worth more? Yes and no. Yes, because it was great older, but at the second time, a lot of people aren't going to know that. So, in my opinion, all, a lot of these old CGC slabs I have, it's almost worth cracking and resubmitting the CGC to get the higher grade. I have multiple nines that I really think that can get, get bumped up to 9.5 and potentially 10s. There's no doubt in my mind. I, in a way, I wanted to do this with PSA saying if these got 9s or 9.5s, I should send this to PSA. And a lot of people are telling me right now, don't do it because PSA is great and very tough. So if that's the case, I'll send these back to CGC. So it's never fun cracking these and sending them back or sending them back to CGC because it's always sweating to crack these out. But anyways, guys, Sunday afternoon in Florida. I'm going to watch some TV. I'm going to pick out some cards to do some grading. Tune in next time. I'm the Pole Father. And just remember, guys, it only takes one. See you guys. Take care.